today to talk to you guys about, we all know that beautiful people have it easier in the world. You probably would agree. Um, but today I'm here to talk to you about the beauty within, changing the game with confidence and character. Before we get started, um, do me a favor. While I'm telling you a little bit about myself, grab a mirror or have your cell phone handy on selfie mode because you may need it a little bit later in the presentation. So I think it's only fair that you know a little bit about the person that's standing in front of you. And like Charmaine said, I do do a lot of things. <laughs> I do do a lot of things, but I'm a multi I'm a multifaceted entrepreneur. What can I say? <laughs> so again, for those who don't know me, I am Harmony, originally from the beautiful island of Bermuda, but raised in the ATL, a single parent home as an only child, no judging. And I have two amazing daughters. Today, I'm known as a global transformation strategist. But here's the thing. I grew up believing that I could do anything because my mama said I could. And because she said I could, I went hard after my dreams. I was a professional model until I matured. I literally thought that anything I touched would turn to gold. But like many of you, I followed the plan. I have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and your girl is a dissertation away from a PhD. But at the end of the day, I had more degrees than a thermometer, but not quite the level of success that I desire. So let me tell you how you can really think you're doing something and it can all blow up in your face. I became known as the global transformation strategist because I had to go through my own transformation. Even though I was given great directions, I still found myself in a place where my first marriage was struggling, I had more debt than money, and I was unfulfilled and unhappy. After the divorce, I thought I had finally figured it out. I left my comfy job, started a successful nonprofit, traveled the world, and I started dating again. He was mature, financially stable, family-oriented, and spiritual. We had similar interests and started a business. Hashtag winning everything I asked for, right? Until the day my gut told me to go buy the house and I met his wife. And just like that, three years of my life was a complete lie. I had never felt so many emotions at once. Confused, disappointed, shocked, embarrassed, and yes, pissed. In that moment, I knew my transformation had to be for me. Not for applause, not for my mom, the kids, a partner, or for where society thinks I should be at a certain age. I had to get real and intentional, and I had to bet on me. So now I spend my time as a guide. Most of us deal with transitions, and they can be planned or unexpected. But here's what I found. Those people that have guidance, encouragement, and support tend to arrive at their destination quicker with less obstacles and in better condition. So if it's okay to jump right in, somebody type, let's go in the chat. Unfortunately, I can't see the chat, but I'm gonna believe that somebody is typing, let's go. <laughs> All right. Also, a quote that I see often, people are like Oreos. The good stuff is on the inside. Give me a clap if you agree. As I said, today we're going to talk about confidence and character. Confidence. Where does it come from? I believe it mainly comes from three places our environment, because as kids, we learn most from what we see and experience around us. And as adults, the situations that we allow ourselves to be in often shape our thoughts, feelings, and actions. Then our interactions, how we're treated by family, friends, colleagues, and our significant others. And lastly, our choices. Are they good or bad? We think things through, or make impulsive decisions? Do we take risk or do we play it safe? 
Do we react positively or negatively? Do we focus on problems or solutions? I think that these three things have a huge impact on our confidence. I encourage you to consider using confidence as a competitive edge. As women, we naturally worry more than our male counterparts and instinctively have a habit of focusing on everyone but ourselves. Taking the time to develop or strengthen your confidence and self-esteem is likely to have a positive impact on everyone in your life. Nobody can do it for you, and it will come easier for some than others. But as we focus on improving it, it allows us to push past the limits of our abilities and turn thoughts into actions. Here are six steps to help you use confidence as a competitive edge. Number one, quick fix. If you're feeling low or having a bad day, do like Charmaine and turn on your favorite music. Feel free to just listen, but for an extra push, sing and dance like you're putting a concert on in your living room or shower. Call your most positive friend or relative. Those girl, you got this pep talks are priceless. Listen to some personal or spiritual development because hearing some motivation or encouragement can give you exactly what you need to act courageously. Number two, believe it. Do you feel that what you're born with is all that you get and that your intellig intelligence and talents can't be improved? Well, that's known as a fixed mindset. However, I encourage my clients to develop a growth mindset, to believe that you can improve both of them with practice, persistence, and effort. Number three, plan and execute. Think through your goals and the actions needed to reach them. Focus less on making a to-do list and more on making a done list. Stay away from distractions like frivolous conversations, reality TV, and social media. Be sure to celebrate small victories along the way by rewarding yourself with small treats like a favorite bite or something sweet, a glass of wine, or some pampering. Number four, fail forward. It's okay to make mistakes and not be perfect. Some of the most successful people in the world have failed time and time again, but they kept going and eventually they reached or exceeded their goals. Learn from the best. One of my favorite quotes that I tell myself on a regular basis is if you can look up, you can get up. Number five, keep pushing. There will be challenges and setbacks, but don't let it shake you. It's during those times that you have the most growth and you don't know how strong you are until that's all that you have to be. And lastly, number six, find a coach. Instead of stressing or wasting time, energy and money, making unnecessary mistakes, learn from someone else's. Reach out to someone whose opinion, values, and successes are what you aspire to. Accomplish and watch, listen, and acquire knowledge that can elevate you from now to next. See, as you know, we only have one life. Walk through it with your head held high, despite the circumstances you are sure to encounter. The, ops, the blows that you take, the obstacles will cer certainly come. Know that while you may not be perfect, you are everything that you need for this season of your life. There is no one anywhere that can do a better job of being you. One of my favorite confidence quotes is from Diane von Fostenberg. Confidence, if you have it, you can make anything look good. Ralph Waldo Emerson suggested that character is a person's internal force untouched by circumstance or external pressures. At first encounter, most people share their representative. They are on their best behavior. 
they are extra nice and they say all the right things but who are you when nobody's looking i'm going to touch right quick on character which i consider an invaluable leadership tool in life and business displaying exceptional character can catapult you to success and cause you to stand out above the rest here are a few reasons why great character is an invaluable leadership tool first it helps you attract new clients and allows you to maintain positive business relationships it's a sign of respect and it gives you the opportunity to take responsibility for your actions good or bad it fosters positive experiences and a pleasant environment that is conducive to teamwork or collaboration it demonstrates that the consideration of others is more important than your personal desires it also assists in determining that what you think of yourself is aligned with what others think of you because sometimes we think we're something and other people see something different so you want to make sure that those things align and it develops trust among your employees your partners and your community so i was charged today to speak about the beauty within there are certain key elements to creating a successful business and having a successful life leading with your values integrity and empathy are the accessories that complete the perfect outfit an outstanding display of character in words and actions should be expected and required think about it when we think about companies like chick-fil-a while we all know they have great chicken most people when they talk about chick-fil-a they they're known more for their exceptional customer service people will forget what you said and forget what you did but they will never forget the way that you made them feel most businesses are known by the character of its people so what will they say about yours type that in the chat for me what 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 do you want them to say about you and your business while you're doing that if you can go ahead and grab that mirror that you should have handy or grab your cell phone and put it on selfie so that you're looking directly at yourself yes that means you do it grab your cell phone grab your mirror and i want you to look yourself in the eye you're talking to you so say it like you mean it okay i'm looking in my mirror right now repeat after me you are worthy repeat after me you deserve all of the abundance coming your way and lastly you were given the vision and you have everything you need to get it done all right hopefully you felt that hopefully you meant that and feel free to say those things to yourself as much as you need a reminder okay i appreciate you guys for sharing a few minutes with me today i am going to share a free giveaway with you guys if you go to www.harmony360.com you can contact me by whatever means is most convenient for you and the first everybody who goes to that and sends me a text or an email or dms me on social media you guys will go in a drawing for this free giveaway the free giveaway includes a 45 minute coaching session you can choose mindset business or image you'll get a dvd which is different by design t-shirt and a few other goodies and i will send you my free guide for getting ish done okay well it's not free but it's going to be free for you <laughs> so again go to harmony360.com whatever way is easier for you and just type in your message the code word dbdatl that's how i know you were here in your message type dbdatl all right and feel free to let me know if you enjoyed uh the presentation as well for everybody else that anybody that uh goes and does that i will send you 
the Get Ish Done Guide. So it won't be a waste of your time. Everyone will get the guide and then one lucky person will get the coaching session and the t-shirt and goodies along with the guide. Okay, you can connect with me um, on that same platform. You can book me or request an interview. You can follow me on social media. You can join an email list. You can call, text, email, Facebook, Messenger, or WhatsApp if you're out of the country. And you can schedule a free discovery call if you want to have a conversation about me helping you successfully transform from now to next. So that is it for me. 